Yeah, Lori and Mark, many of the recent high profile cases have been in the world of arts and entertainment. The accused have seen financial hits as a result of harassment in the workplace, and they are now examples of what companies are trying to avoid at any cost. Matt Lauer. This is a sad morning here at Today and at NBC News. And writer Garrison Keeler are just two of the big names today accused of inappropriate behavior. I am shocked. Yeah. I'm just shocked by the depth, the pervasiveness, the number of people involved. Michaela Kiner continues to shake her head. The only policy that you can have around harassment is a zero tolerance. The CEO of Uniquely HR, based here in Seattle, has worked in human resources for years with major organizations. She now helps roughly 50 small businesses and startups with HR and says calls are up for help in spotting a problem. We've certainly gotten calls from smaller companies saying uh, we want to learn from this and you know, we don't want to be um, the next Uber, for instance. And so uh, we have seen a spike in that kind of training. Yet she acknowledges it can be tricky for an employee who feels like they've been harassed. I think it's a good idea to ask the HR person to say, hey, you know, there's something I may want to share with you before I share. Let me know. Uh, what's your responsibility in terms of keeping things confidential? If an employee is especially wary about retaliation or simply doesn't have trust in their company, those are probably the cases where they're going to want to go um, directly outside and contact an employment attorney. Kiner also believes it is good news that people are speaking up and keeping companies accountable. We've seen it more as people coming forward and wanting to be proactive and not be the next story. Kiner told us she'd heard a lot of bad stuff over the years, but stressed there are incredible local organizations with great values where this stuff is not happening. Mark.